Did you know President Eisenhower signed a treaty with aliens to allow them to abduct us in return for technology? Did you know the reason why people think there's no such thing as dinosaurs is because before 1700s there was no museums. So when someone found a dinosaur bone, they didn't know what to do with it. They had no telephones, no internet. So they just buried it again. Did you know if you type in the words Enki and Nimna, you will actually read the translations of the Anunnaki when they created us humans? Yes, it wasn't God. Technically, their race name is gods. Did you know that... Um, Bigfoot actually comes from China. That's the original place uh, where their crashed ship landed. Did you know that we humans are classed as containers? And that's for these orbs, these light energy beings that are nothing to do with us, but they join with our pineal gland. You can find all of this out from my website. I have a section here called videos, and all the videos on TikTok are in sets of five and sets of 50, so you don't even have to scroll. Enjoy. The Earth is a globe, I'm going to prove it right now. So here in Columbia University, they had 455 tablets back in 1895. Since then, they were loaned many more, even from the Rothschilds. And the Rothschilds had more hens. George and Ryan translate the ones that belong to the Rothschilds. In those tablets, they talk about the Anunnaki, which is the alien race that came here. Now, what I'm about to play you, remember, back then, this is the oldest language known to Earth, Back then, they would have thought the Earth was flat because there's no way they would have looked up and gone into space and saw it was round in any shape or form. Here we go. In Shurubak, he grew up and wed Emzara, and she bore him three sons. During his reign, the world's woes intensified. Diseases and famine plagued the globe. Plagued the globe. I rest my case. I'm going to educate everyone on the firmament properly. Okay, so forget the Bible, and that's where you get the waters above. Forget all of that. This actually, what I'm about to play you is translations from the Columbia University tablets that predate the Bible that actually talks about everything that you guys think is the permanent and an invisible tome. So I'm going to play some bits and I'm going to keep stopping it so you can understand what it's referring to. At the beginning, it's going to play about Nibiru. So Nibiru is a planet that came into our solar system and smashes up another planet called Tiamat, which created part Earth and part asteroid belt. So have a listen to this translation. If you don't believe me, you can go to Columbia University uh, and basically look it up. So here we go. Nibiru fired a lightning bolt at North Wind. Right, so the Anunnaki in any of their texts talk about things like the planets as being alive. So a dragon was a comet and so on. So that's the reason why they fire a lightning bolt. It wasn't really a lightning bolt. It was the, the wind was actually its moon. He transmitted a message and Tiamat's head was taken away in a blaze of light to an unknown location. That is us, Tiamat's head, Earth. Kingu was also sent away with her. Kingu is our moon, which was Tiamat's moon. And the portion that had been severed was to be his friend. Nibiru then considered what would happen to the back part. He wanted it to be a combat trophy that would survive eternally. The battleground to be enshrined serves as a permanent reminder. He used his mace to sever the horse's back. They then strung them all together to form a hammered bracelet. He secured them as watchmen by locking them together. A that... firmament to keep the waters separate. From the... So there you go. So it's the asteroid belt. Now listen to this bit one more time. A firmament to keep the waters separate from the waters. So that basically means that um, the actual original planet, Tiamat, was a water planet. So they separated the waters from there and the waters from there. And they called this part heaven and they called this part heaven. So together they were heavens as written in the tablets as well as in the Bible. So that's why we've got an asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. That's why it's classed as a firmament because it's protecting the three planets inside the firmament. So next time people say there's an invisible dome, which one are you going to believe? You're going to believe people that's never seen an invisible dome. And watch my pinned video if you think that Admiral Byrd talks about a dome or the Encyclopedia Britannica or any crap like that. Go watch my pinned video on the Flat Earth. 
This is the tablets in the Columbia University. Go read them. Predates the Bible. That's where the Bible gets it from. That's your waters above. That's the firmament. Enough now. No more silliness about firmaments. Did you know people fast because of the Anunnaki? And so when they don't eat, it's because of the Anunnaki. So I'm going to play now a audio clip from a translation from the Moorhen Collection, which is tablets in the Columbia University, where Enki had told a human to write down everything that he's going to tell him about all the stuff that's happened in the past. In other words, creating humans, the flood and everything else. So have a listen to this. So this is where Enki's telling the human that he's going to have to sit for 40 days while Enki speaks for 40 days and this scribe has to write it all down. Are you ready? I will talk for 40 days and 40 nights and you will write during that time. 40 will be the total of those days and nights since 40 is my sacred number among the gods. You must fast for 40 days and 40 nights and consume bread and water once which will be enough to keep you alive for the duration of your assignment. And there you go. That is fasting from aliens, not God. In a previous video, I said where the word firmament first was mentioned, which is in ancient Sumerian texts. And where this person is saying, I have no idea what I'm talking about because the dictionary says something different because the asteroid belt was the actual firmament and that's what protects Earth. Anyway, so to this person who's not the world's smartest person, um, where do you think people in the dictionary got the original word from? And unfortunately, silly people think that the word firmament means a dome over because it protects Earth. <laughs> so they had no idea. They weren't um, Assyriologists. They weren't archaeologists, the people in the dictionary. They saw a word and said, hmm, that sounds like it's protecting Earth. You see my point now. So they come up with the idea that there's a fixed dome over our planet, invisible, whereas we know different because we actually can read the original texts, not the Bible. The Anunnaki used AI. These are the Anunnaki, the aliens that created us humans. And according to Billy Carson, they used AI. Now, I've been reading these texts forever, as you probably know. I've never come across it now, unfortunately. The video I just saw of Billy Carson's didn't allow me to stitch anymore. I wonder why. So if anyone knows where Billy's got this information that he says that the Anunnaki had AI and that they debated over whether or not to use them, etc., etc., the problem we've got with that is why did they need to create humans? They could have created the robots. That's why I don't think that's true because obviously they created us humans. They could have just used the robots that was over in, in apparently in their spaceship, which I've never read. So if anyone's got any evidence, because Billy never seems to show where he gets the evidence from, whereas I do. So if anyone's got any evidence of Billy talking correct, please let me know. Hmm, yes, well. These are not aliens. They're mutated humans from a parallel version of Earth that just... It's interesting to see another researcher like myself say the same things I used to think. He's saying it as he believes it's real now. Whereas I used to believe that, but I've changed my attitude towards the greys being us from the future because I carried on researching. Now, Daryl, I think his name's Daryl, is obviously just a researcher because if he wasn't and was actually getting information from aliens about our solar system, about aliens, etc., there's people that's been taken away and disappeared for a lot less for just seeing a UFO. So... um but yeah, so my research ended up basically saying, no, these aliens are actually from, I mean, you know, based off of the crop circles and things like that, that um, depict the actual uh, alien greys, the Zetas, because it can't be Orions because they're the android types. So it would have to be the Zetas, but they come from another star system, they told us. Let's take a look at a video. One of the earliest versions is the Ethiopian Bible and the Sinai Bible. I do love Dan McLaren. He is someone that will say it as it should be said which is fantastic. Unlike many other people out there, he actually says it. And of course, now he's uh, come across a video with Billy Carson in, and if you watch Dan's video, he tears Billy to pieces. Because, as I do, <laughs> um, and it's not, you know, I get told that, you know, I'm jealous of Billy, etc. No, just like Dan, we both want the actual information, and then Dan does it from, you know, the Bible side of it. Fantastic, he does a great job. Um, go watch his videos, I highly recommend them. Uh, but you know, it's not 
us being <laughs> bad. It's just we want the real information out there. And when you've got people that just make up stuff, that yeah. So well done, Dan. Uh, appreciate your work. I've been chatting to this religious person who said that the Earth's only 6,000 years old. I asked him how the tree in Scotland that's 9,000 years old existed before the planet anyway. Uh, but this comment is always a good one. He wrote, There are no other hominids, and there never was. In other words, Homoloferensis, Neanderthal, etc. Bearing in mind, we have Neanderthal DNA, and we have skeletons of Neanderthal that have 100% Neanderthal DNA. In other words, we are part Neanderthal. Um, unless everyone's lying. Now, I do agree mainstream do lie, but uh, the actual skulls, etc., do look different to ours. Um, <laughs> yeah. Help! Um, if, uh, you know, I worry. I worry that if we're dependent on the last few people on this planet, I hope they're not like this person here. Because, yeah, sad. Gods would go into these pyramids and they would vanish. They would vanish for years. Then they... I'd love to see the evidence of that. The only ancient text that refers to the pyramids is actually the Emerald Tablets of Thoth, which doesn't talk about gods going in and disappearing in them. Uh, so, oh, if only this guy would actually one day show the evidence instead of just standing there and talking. If only he did what I do. In fact, forget showing my face. I don't show my face, I show evidence. I will never see the evidence that he's referring to because he just keeps saying, in tablets, I point to the tablets. I will never just lie to you guys and say, it's in tablets and pretend. I will always show you the tablets that it's in. So I doubt if we'll ever get to see that evidence that he probably hasn't got.